One thing that people normally ask is what can I do in order to become a digital nomad? What type of talent I should have? And what are the abilities that I can actually make money from if I am a digital nomad. Today in this video, we are going to explore that. But before going there, subscribe, share, like, and comment. And also make sure that you have the ring activated so then like, you don't miss out of any of the videos that are going to be shared in this channel. Let's go to the topic. One of the first things that we actually want to know is like, what are the actual things that people pay for if I am a digital nomad? Because so far, during the past years or before COVID, what we will imagine as a digital nomad is somebody who is drinking coconut water in front of beach in Bali and doing nothing but just being in the computer and managing social media. This is partially true and this was partially a trend when social media came in 2004 and many companies were freaking out not knowing how to actually create or uh, reach out to an audience that was growing and that was native in web in internet. This case was one of the most popular cases because many people started having an idea of a lifestyle that they wanted to have but not knowing or failing along the way in actually making some money or actually having some concentration whenever they went digital no nowadays what we actually have other categories of other activities that are paid because the market has specialized more and the opportunities have tra transcend and have gone like beyond social media and have also like observing for needs in different types of markets so the first thing that as a digital nomad you can do is working in marketing and that seems obvious but it's not so obvious the reason why you can work in marketing is because marketing is highly paid you can work from anywhere in the world and it's actually a sexy thing as a marketer the fact that you travel and discover cultures if you do it well and if you have the capacity of combining and balancing your life between working and also like finding let's say interesting knowledge along along your way in different parts of the world you are going to become a professional that is super attractive for people and you are going to be paid between $1,500 to $12,000 a month and this is super cool because in general marketing professionals have also a capacity to absorb and to have clients from different industries and these different industries in which you can work even though they change in their needs they are normally standard because everybody change or everybody is looking for having companies that are flexible and remote and also companies that are exporting to the world and talking to this generation of people the second thing that as a digital nomad you can do is ghost writing and i don't know if you wrote when you were younger huge love letters or a love messages or when you were fighting with your ex you wrote a lot of drama like a whole bible of what you want thinking about the thing they break up and whatever thing stop it Get some help. If you are like that, if you are a toxic person, you could actually be a super good ghost writer. The ghost writers are very, very well paid. You can be paid either per word or per text or per month. And in the case of your paid per word, you can be paid up to $10 per word. If you are paid, for example, per text, you can be paid up to $100 per page or per text. And if you are paid per month, you can be paid up to $30,000 per month. Why ghost writers are so well paid? Well, because of companies need to tell a story nowadays people they don't believe only in products and they don't need only products because the information is all there and what people want is value and companies who effectively communicate to people what they are thinking so these ghost writers are mainly working on writing tweets writing emails writing letters writing recommendations sharing information about a company via the copies of social media like instagram snapchat tiktok and everywhere and also creating the statements or creating the keynote speeches for the ceos of company as you see ghost writers have have a very wide variety of things and for example you started journalism or if you are started literature if you started history or if you started architecture and other careers whereas you need to express yourself a lot definitely this is one of your precious gigs and one of the things that you can actually have as a nice gig to work in the third thing that I believe is one of the best paid at the moment segments in the uh, digital nomad industry is if you are a developer but specifically a developer in blockchain many people are looking for people who actually understand what blockchain is what web3 is and not only for development also for training for example and for guidance or for mentorship to companies who want to move from web2 to web3 or to companies who want to understand what's that as a web3 developer or as a web3 specialist or as a web3 evangelist as a revenue and you can actually work in several types of project of projects if you know how to automate system and how to create things these three careers or these three professions are on the top of the things that you can actually have as a skill 
careers. Now, what careers you need to study in order to become a digital nomad? Well, any kind of career. And this is one of the interesting things about becoming somebody who works from home. That is not only or are not only the uh, abilities or the industries that normally are hiring people and more than working from everywhere, you can actually make money being, for example, a marketer, even if you didn't study marketing. And why do I say that? Because for example, if a company needs somebody who does marketing for architectural products, they normally have the option of hiring a marketer or hiring somebody who knows how to sell things but studied architecture. And this could be a nice ability and nice leverage that you could have. Or if you, for example, are somebody who doesn't know anything about development but you are very good in Web3 or in blockchain, you don't necessarily need to be a developer but you can be a coordinator or a manager of a team of developers and you know how to speak the language of your customer and the development team and that can actually help you making money. Or if, for example, you want to write and you are a person who normally wrote a lot of letters as I was saying before uh, joking but also if you're a person who is actually good in expression and who spends a lot of time in social media and is willing to write tweets or to write emails or to write things for other people you can actually be making money even if it's a side hustle at the beginning and then like just start like creating other things like software as a services and like programs and like training courses that will give you even more income if you also want to become a digital nomad one of the things that you need to consider is that as a digital nomad you don't necessarily need to have a set of skills right now. There are different pages and in different platforms where you can actually find jobs, even if they are smaller. One of the things that I recommend is a program that we actually are creating that is called the Nomad Keeper that will hire you for uh, creating small tasks and for solving things for other digital nomads. This can actually take you to travel because these are simple things that you can do in your free time. The next thing that you can do is like search in, place, in places or platforms like Remote OK or Angel List or Let's Work Remote and different others where you can actually find jobs or if you don't have any specialization or something that you can work on or you want to work on per month but you want to just work as a side hustle you can find things in Upwork or in Fiverr. These things or these tools are designed for helping you understand what are the abilities that are more required and also helping you to see what set of skills that you have can actually be good for it. You will have even unexpected jobs like for example having to play a song for somebody recording a message because of your voice is beautiful and sending that message to somebody there are so many things that you can do as a digital nomad and so many things that you can work in that the sky is the limit. Now my question is, you really want to travel the world and have to arrange your whole schedule while you are trying to enjoy a city and have to solve sometimes problems like not having the right Airbnb or like for example sometimes not having good internet connection and are you willing to learn emotional intelligence by learning constantly and being constantly on the road? If your answer is yes, probably you could be a digital nomad but if you are afraid of that, I recommend you to start with small steps like working from coffees in your city then traveling to another city and being periods of times there and slowly adapting to that idea of moving all the time and finding yourself in a way that is more comfortable for you if you want to take a decision or to make a decision right now and start traveling you can do it if you want to go or to attend to one of our events for example in middle of the digital nomads you can do it if you want to be part of our community of keepers and you want to experience how is that you can do it or if you want to uh, get places and stay in places around the world only paying one rent you can do it today anything is possible and everything that you want to do is there waiting for you to actually take that opportunity the first thing that you need to ask yourself is how and when you want to start and with that decision you can go ahead these are things that you need in order to be a digital nomad i hope this information is useful please share comment and like